Welcome back guys. And now we're just gonna discuss quickly the process or procedure of barrel swishing. All right, so this is kind of a cool concept. It kind of dates back to moonshining days. And it's the process of adding a certain amount of distilled water to your used oak barrel and then swishing the barrel for about a month. And what you get out of that is you get the um, oak staves that have kind of hung on to some of the devil's cut, which is some of the whiskey that was in the barrel it actually absorbs into the wood staves and it kind of stays put there. So when you put in the distilled water, um, you're gonna leave it for about a month and then every two or three days, you're gonna rotate the barrel to allow that distilled water to extract some of that whiskey from the oak barrel staves. And what you get at the end of that is you get what's called swish, which is essentially the whiskey that has remained in the barrel in the oak staves, kind of mixed in with some of that distilled water that you added and you can actually serve that up and tell a cool story when you're done your barrel bar. All right, so in order to swish your barrel, here's what you're gonna do. First of all, you need to locate the bung. Um, the bung is on the side of the barrel in most cases. Sometimes they actually put some in the top as well, but your bung is right there. You need a bung puller, which is a specialized tool. And what I recommend is if you are intending to swish your barrel, you just ask the distillery to remove the bung for you after you purchase your used oak barrel. They can do that for you right at the distillery with their specialized tool. That avoids you having to buy one and they are pretty expensive. So that's what I recommend doing. Once the bung is removed, you're gonna add a few liters of distilled water into your barrel. So you could probably do about a gallon, let's say, of distilled water. Then you're gonna let your barrel rest for about a month. Every two or three days, you're gonna rotate your barrel. So you're gonna basically just roll it on a clean surface like on your front yard if you have a nice dry front yard in the summer or on a tarp in your front yard, something like that. And essentially what that does is it's going to extract out those flavors and the whiskey from the oak staves. And afterwards, what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove that bung again, and then you're going to dump that into a vessel. So you could use a bowl, you could use you know, a big container of some kind, and you're gonna have all sorts of debris in there. So you're going to have barrel char, you're gonna have some soot from the um, char of the barrel, you're going to have some other things in there, uh, quite probably little chunks of wood and whatnot. So essentially you're going to filter that out using a sieve. And then after that, you can find filter using a coffee filter. Then you can try it yourself or serve it up to your, your guests and tell them your barrel swishing story as they're enjoying the whiskey in your barrel bar. All right guys, so that's barrel swishing 101. All right guys, welcome back. So we are still on the topic of barrel swishing and just with the last bit of dappled daylight that we have going on here in Victoria, I thought I would show you guys that process real quick. All right, so first thing we got to do is remove the bung. I have already done that here. So there you can see the bung right there. Um, very luckily for me, the distillery had just sort of lightly tapped it back into place in the barrel. So it wasn't very firmly fitted and I could easily get it out just using this flat head screwdriver and a little bit of love from the mallet here. Uh, just a, a little small mini one. And just with a little bit of coaxing and wiggling, I was able to pop it out. So now the um, barrel hole is actually exposed and ready to be filled with distilled water for swishing of the barrel. All right. You could also use a rubber mallet there just to coax that uh, bung out if yours is uh, like mine and it was really loose in there. Um, so just gonna tip the barrel towards you guys just to show you guys the opening. So right there is the opening in our barrel. All right, and so normally what you're gonna use is you're gonna use distilled water. Um, I did go to our local grocery store. They were completely sold out of those, you know, those big bottles of water that you can get and you can just fill, how that has a fill station. You can fill them up then cap them and bring them home. They were completely, uh, both their machines there were out of order. So the best that I could do was actually get this bottled water here. And believe it or not, that was the best deal. So I got 24 of those 500 milliliters each bottle. So um, that equals about 12 liters of water that we're going to put into the barrel. And I will cut away now as I fill the barrel and then I'll show you guys uh, reinserting and sort of tapping in the bung of the barrel. All right guys, so I have emptied all of those 24 bottles of water uh, into this barrel here. So we've got about 12 liters of distilled or purified water in our barrel. 
Most of the research that I found online said to use about 20 liters in there to get your swish. Um, but this is quite a dry barrel. So this was sitting at the distillery sort of without any liquid in it for about a year. So it's fairly dried out. So honestly, I don't know what we're actually gonna get from this experiment. So I think 12 liters will be just fine. If you're doing this at home and you have a relatively wet barrel, meaning that the distillery um, emptied the barrel fairly recently and there's still a good amount of moisture from the whiskey in the barrel, I think you could go with that 20 liters and that would probably be a good sweet spot. Um, anyways, what we've got to do now is we've got to replace the bung, tap it back into place, and then we're going to let the barrel sit. Alright, so have got the bung right here, just sort of trying to line it up with where, about where I took it off, and then we're just going to gently tap it back into place to seal the barrel. Alright, so that's uh, nice and sealed there. So we're gonna leave the barrel like this and then every two or three days, I'm gonna take it out to the nice dry front lawn here that's been scorched by the summer heat and we will roll the barrel so that it absorbs a different part of the staves as we're doing our barrel swishing. All right, we'll see you in the next segment.